Matthew Brandon is known simply as Matty, and this is a trip he's made every week for the past four and a half years. He's fanatical, in the best possible way, about this. The Sergeant Major's parade at the RCMP Training Academy in Regina. Matty used to be just an observer, but not anymore. Sergeant Pierre Goslin welcomed him into the RCMP family. He's a special person. He's an honorary member of the drill unit. We gave him a uniform he had on today when he turned 25. So he's part of our unit. Matty has autism, cerebral palsy, and fetal alcohol syndrome. The 25-year-old Indigenous man has the mental capacity and communication skills of a toddler. But his love for the RCMP is clear. He's nonverbal, so you really have to follow his cues. And he, when he likes something, he really likes something. The feeling is mutual. It's, it's hard to have a bad day when Maddie's around. He's so full of happiness and, and joy every time he's here. This weekly ritual started as a bright spot during dark times. Chris and Shannon Gardner became Maddie's foster parents when he was six years old. Then, when he turned 21, the Saskatchewan government wanted Maddie to move into a group home for adults with intellectual disabilities. Maddie's world was thrown into chaos. He became aggravated, even violent. The Gardners insisted on keeping him at home and began difficult negotiations for funding. Times were tough, money was sparse. The parade provided free entertainment for the family. Maddie became obsessed with going every week, and over time, a friendship evolved with senior officers. He records it all on his iPad. It's on repeat. Like, he wakes up to it and goes to bed watching pretty much RCMP parade. The Sergeant Major's Parade is a strictly regimented exercise dating back to 1874. Yet, one day a week, when Maddie visits, something magical happens. This being one of the most rule-based places in Canada, Maddie's just allowed to kind of break all those rules. Make him happy, and that's what we want to do, make him happy. <laughs> Maddie gets to join the parade. Corporal Nathan Olson, on Maddie's left, worked hard to earn his trust. It took a long time. Maddie would just go to the females most of the time in uniform, and there was a trust uh, with, with the men, but eventually he did come to me after about six months, and so that was a huge day for me when he eventually came and grabbed more for my hand. That was the parade. <laughs> the instructors say Maddie's interactions with cadets will make them better police officers, but really, it just makes everyone better. And though Maddie can't speak words, everyone here understands him. He's happy, and that's what matters. Bonnie Allen, CBC News, Regina.